figure shows a cantilever thin walled open section figure shows a cantilever thin walled open section subjected to loads 800 newton and 400 newton so let me draw the coordinate system so you can easily understand so this is x and y and z so loads are subjected along x direction y direction and x and y direction that's all x and y direction so the cross sectional dimensions are shown here okay so thickness 2 mm and 2 mm here 1 mm okay so it is required to calculate the direct stress due to bending at point a direct stress due to bending at point a okay so this is our expression direct stress due to bending expression with the help of this expression we are going to find out the value or the magnitude of the direct stress due to bending so in order to find out this i need ixx iyy ixy so moment of inertia values and the value of mx and my value of mx and my so to find out these moment of inertia values i need to locate a centroid i need to locate a centroid okay x bar and y bar i have to calculate so in order to calculate x bar and y bar i have divided this into three section section 1 section 1 and section 2 section 3 okay section 1 is 80 into 1 and section 2 is 100 into 2 and section 3 is 40 into 2 okay so how to find x bar we do the formula x bar is a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 similarly y bar is equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 now let us write down the values for example for the first section for the first section x1 is equal to let me take this point as my reference point to find x1 values y1 values and so on so x1 is equal to 80 divided by 2 that is 40 millimeter 40 millimeter then y1 is equal to for the sectional y1 take this as a line so y1 would be 0 0 and the area of section 1 is 80 into 1 80 mm square similarly for section 2 x2 is equal to so treat this as a line so x2 would be 0 and y2 is equal to 100 divided by 2 50 a to area area of section 2 100 into 2 100 into 2 200 mm square similarly for the third section x3 is equal to so this is my reference point 40 divided by 2 20 y3 is nothing but 100 millimeter a3 area of the section 3 is 40 into 2 80 80 mm square now as i told you the formula x bar is equal to a1 into x1 plus a2 into x2 plus a3 into x3 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 which gives x bar is equal to 13.33 millimeter so x bar locates the position of centroidal x centroidal y y axis so 13.33 millimeter distance of 13.33 millimeter right side of the reference point our y y axis is located so now this is my y y axis at a distance of 13 13.33 millimeter at a distance of 13.33 millimeter similarly y bar is equal to y bar is equal to a1 into y1 plus a2 into y2 plus a3 into y3 
divided by sum of all the areas. So after calculating, y bar is nothing but 50 millimeter, 50, 50 millimeter. So the y bar locates the position of the centroidal xx axis. Centroidal xx axis. So now this is our centroidal xx axis. Centroidal xx axis at a distance of 50 millimeter above the reference point. Okay. So all the dimensions are in millimeter. Okay. All the dimensions are in millimeter. Now it is required to calculate the moment of inertia, area moment of inertia that is Ixx, Iyy and Ixy. So the, we know the formula for finding this Ixx, Ixx is equal to for the first section Bd cube by 12. Okay, the first section At into 1 cube by 12 plus area, area of the section 1, A1 is 80 into y1 minus y bar the whole square y1 minus y bar the whole square so this is for section 1 and for section 2 section 2 bd cube by 12 100 bd cube by 12 so b is nothing but 2 2 into 100 cube by 12 plus area a2 is area is 200 200 into so this is y2 minus y bar we have written here so y1 minus y bar so here y2 minus y bar y2 is 50 minus y bar is 50 square plus for the third section for third section b is 40 into 2 cube by 12 bd cube by 12 plus area of the section 3 is 80 so 80 into y3 minus y bar y3 minus y bar the whole square y3 minus y bar the whole square now as i told you that even in the problem it is stated that while computing the sexual properties the higher powers of t can be neglected so here in this case the higher powers of t is nothing but So this I can neglect it. Okay. So this term is coming out to be zero. This term is coming out to be zero. And here this can be neglected. So after calculating, we, we arrive the answer. Like I x x is equal to zero point five six seven zero point five six seven into ten power. 6 mm power 4 0.567 into 10 power 6 mm power 4 so this is the value for i x x now we have to calculate similarly the value for i y y Now let us calculate I Y Y I Y Y. The formula is D B Q by 12 plus area into X minus X bar the whole square. Okay. D B Q by 12, section 1. D B Q by 12. So D B Q by 12. Plus area is A1 area A D. X1 minus X bar. X1 is 40 minus X bar is 30.33 square plus section 2 section 2 d b cube by 12 d is 100 d is 100 b is 2 d b cube by 12 plus area of the section 2 is 200 into x2 minus x bar x2 is 0 minus x bar is 13.33 square plus for section 3 D B cube by 12. D is 2. B is 40. Cube by 12. Plus area of the section 3 is 80. Into X3 minus X bar. X3 is 20. Minus X bar is 13.33. Square. Is equal to. 
okay is equal to now here here also the higher powers can be neglected okay so this can be neglected higher powers of t can be neglected so now i y y the answer while you compute 0 0.149 into 10 power 6 and then power 4 so 0 0.149 into 10 power 6 mm power 4 is the value for i y y now how to calculate the product moment of inertia i x y let us see how to find the value for i x y So I x y is equal to area into x minus x bar into y minus y bar. So A1. A1 is 80 into x1 minus x bar. X1 is 40 minus 13.33 into y1 minus y bar. Y1 is 0 minus 50. This is for section 1 plus section 2 area. Section 2 area is 200 into x2 minus x bar. x2 is 0 minus 13.33 is the x bar into y2 minus y bar. y2 is 50 minus y bar is again 50. Then for section 3, section 3, a3 is 80 into x3 minus x bar. x3 minus x bar into y3 minus y bar so this is coming out to be 0 this term is ok so after computing you get the answer minus 0 0.08 into 10 power 6 mm power 4 now we have obtained the values for ixx, iyy, ixy let us plug in all these values to the expression. So before substituting the values, let us find the values for Mx and My from the given external loading. Okay, the loads are acting in x and y directions. So first we should know which load produces which moment. That is the moment acting in y direction produces a, the load acting in y direction produces a moment about the x axis. The load acting in x direction produces a moment about y axis ok now let us find out the mx and my for the given loading so mx is equal to so the mx is equal to the load acting in y direction will produce uh, the bending moment about x axis so 800 into 2000 so 800 into 2000 is the moment about x axis and this load 800 produces a compression so I can take it as a negative I can take it as a negative value that is a negative bending moment ok so minus 800 into 2000 ok you get the value and my my is equal to it produces the load acting in x direction produces a moment about moment about y axis so 400 this produces a tension here so 400 into 2000 so which so newton millimeter newton millimeter or the units taken for the moment taken for the moment Now we have obtained the bending moments Mx and My that is these are the maximum bending moments that are acting at the fixed end that is the built in end that are acting at the built in end so when you substitute Mx, My, Ixx, Iyy and Ixy in the expression we get the expression to be sigma Z is equal to sigma Z is equal to 4.174x 4.174x 
x minus 2.235 y 2.235 y so this is the dark stress due to bending expression okay which is obtained by substituting the maximum bending moment value that is this is the maximum bending moment at the fixed end now when you just substitute at a at a okay at a sigma z at a what is x coordinate what is x coordinate? x coordinate is equal to 66.67 millimeter. 66.67 millimeter. Okay. That's nothing but distance from here. This is our centroid. So from here to here is 80 minus 13.33. And y coordinate is nothing but from here is in the fourth quadrant. So minus 50 millimeter. So when you substitute x, y in this above expression, you will get sigma z that is just due to bending at a to be 390 390 newton per mm square so this is the direct stress due to bending at the built in end that is at the fixed end ok now for example I want to find the bending moment at the mid bay that is at the off length of the B, that is off length for example so off length I want to find out means how to find okay that is at the off length means 100 millimeter sorry 1000 millimeter so at a distance of 1000 millimeter from this free end find out the diaxis due to bending at point A find out the diaxis due to bending at point A means you just replace this 2000 by 1000 2000 by 1000 so what I will get so minus 0 0.8 into 10 power 6 Newton millimeter here 0 0.4 into 10 power 6 0 0.4 into 10 power 6 Newton millimeter now substitute this mx and my <coughs> in this expression you will get the sigma z expression sigma z expression to be sigma z expression 2.087 2.087x minus 1.117y 2.087x minus 1.117y so this is the expression bending stress expression at the midway of the beam that is off of the beam now same way coordinate at a x is equal to 66.67 millimeter and y is equal to minus 50 substitute this x and y value in the sigma z expression you will get the bending stress to be 194.99 newton per millimeter square 194.99 newton per millimeter square so this is the dark stress due to bending at point A at off of the beam off of the beam